In this video, let us see about the different characteristics of DC motor. So already we know what is a DC motor. It is a machine that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and it has a different parts armature winding, field winding, commutator, brushes and yoke. So depending upon how this field winding is connected with the armature, there are different types of DC motor. So if the field winding is uh, connected separately or if it is given a separate DC supply, we call it as a separately excited DC motor. And in case of self-excited DC motor, the field winding is given the supply from the armature itself. So if the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature, it is called shunt motor. And in case of series motor, the field winding is connected in series with the armature. In case of compound motor, it has two windings, one is connected in parallel with the armature, another one in series with the armature. Before going to the characteristics, let us uh, recall some of the important formulas. So V is equal to EB plus IARA where V is the applied voltage. EB is back EMF, IA is armature current and RA is the armature resistance. So you will take N as the speed, phi as the flux and TA as the armature torque. So the next uh, formula you have to remember is N is directly proportional to back EMF and inversely proportional to the flux. So back EMF you can write it as V minus IARA. So N is directly proportional to V minus IARA by phi. Another formula is torque is directly proportional to flux into current. So you remember these three formulas so you that you can draw the characteristics of any motor. Let us see the characteristics. So there are three important characteristics. First one is the torque and armature current. So this is drawn between torque and armature current. So it is a electrical quantity. So we call it as a electrical characteristics. And the second one is speed and armature current. The third one is drawn between speed and armature torque. That is you draw this characteristics first one torque versus armature current and speed versus armature current and from these two characteristics you can deduce this third characteristic speed versus armature torque this is also called as mechanical characteristics now let us see the characteristics for different types of motor first let us take dc shunt motor and see all the three characteristics so this is a dc shunt motor where the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature so v is equal to eb plus iara so first let us draw the first characteristics electrical characteristics drawn between torque and armature current so torque in y axis armature current in x axis so what is the relation between torque and current torque is directly proportional to flux into armature current so this is a shunt motor it means that flux is almost constant so you can write torque is directly proportional to ia so torque is directly proportional to ia means you can easily draw it it will be a straight line so this curve is going to be a straight line so this is the armature torque already we have seen what is the difference between armature torque and shaft torque so if you supply some of the losses the remaining torque you get or the torque available at the shaft is called shaft torque so shaft torque will be slightly less than the armature torque Next we will see 
speed versus armature current characteristics. So we know speed is directly proportional to back EMF by flux. So this is a um, shunt motor. The flux will be almost constant. So if you see the speed as the load increases there will be a small drop in the speed from the no load speed. So almost it will be act as a constant speed motor. So it is preferred in constant speed applications like machine tools, lathe, wood working machines. Next the third characteristics mechanical characteristics that we can find from the about two characteristics. So already we have drawn the electrical characteristics. Now you have speed versus armature current. Now what we are going to draw is speed versus torque. So speed here, torque here. So if you draw it, it will be like this. So similar to this, you will get the characteristics. So for shunt motor, we have seen three characteristics. Always remember the three formulas so that you can draw the characteristics easily. Next we will see about DC series motor. In series motor the field winding is in series with the armature. So V is equal to EB plus I into this armature resistance and this series resistance gets added. So IA into RA plus RSC. So let us see the first characteristics which is drawn between torque and armature current. So relation torque is directly proportional to flux into current. But in series motor you see the armature current passes to the field winding. So this flux and IA are directly proportional. So instead of flux I can write IA here. So it becomes torque directly proportional to IA square. So that is why we call, we say that uh, DC series motor has high starting torque because it is directly proportional to IA square. So DC series motor is preferred for hoist application or crane application where you will load the machine heavily and then start the operation. So in such cases you can use DC series motor. That is why in labs also it is um, you will be advised to load the machine and then start the DC series motor because torque will be directly proportional to IA square. So the characteristics will be like this. After saturation, the flux will become constant. At that time, you will get torque directly proportional to IA. Next characteristics is speed versus armature current. So, we know the relation N is directly proportional to EB by 5. So, for change in load, the change in EB is usually small. So for series, this is series motor, so N is directly proportional to 1 by 5. Instead of I, I can write it as IA because field winding is in series with the armature. So for light loads, if load is low means IA is small. IA small means speed will be high. So that is why it is always advised to load the series motor and start the machine. Otherwise it will run at dangerously very high speed. So series motor should never be started without load. So next we will draw the third character from the previous two characteristics. So we can see here when the speed is high current is small and at low currents you have low torque. So when speed is high torque is small. So the characteristics will be something like this. 
next we will see about dc compound motor so in compound motor you have a field winding in parallel with the armature as well as a field winding will be in series with the armature so there are two types of compound motor cumulative compound and differential compound in cumulative compound both the windings that is series winding and shunt winding will aid each other it means that the flux produced by both the windings will add together so its application is uh, wherever you need series characteristics that is like a, a series motor characteristics you can prefer cumulative compound motor and uh, for a differential compound motor both the windings the flux produced by both the windings will oppose each other so it is rarely used next we will see about the cumulative compound motor you have here a series winding as well as a shunt winding okay so as the uh, armature current increases the series flux also increases it means that total flux will increase so torque is directly proportional to flux into ia so as ia increases flux also increases so torque will be directly proportional to ia square like a series motor but it, it will be slightly less than that of a series motor because you have one more shunt winding so it will be like this next we have this speed versus armature current characteristics here n is inversely proportional to flux so as the armature current increases the speed will drop so it will be dropping from these two characteristics if you draw this one it will be like this next we will see about differential compound motor so here you have both series winding as well as shunt winding and both the fluxes are opposing each other so when the armature current increases the total flux will decrease so as the uh, torque is directly proportional to flux into current here flux decreases whereas current increases so the net effect is that there will be a slight increase in the torque okay. and if you see the speed versus armature current n is inversely proportional to flux so here flux decreases if flux decreases speed increases so you will get a speed characteristics like this so it increases beyond the rate at speed so the speed torque characteristics if you deduce from this it will be like this so if you summarize the characteristics of all the uh, different types of uh, dc motors first characteristics is for torque versus armature current you can see that Uh, the shunt motor you have a straight line series motor it will be like a parabola and this cumulative motor characteristics will be always between series and shunt motor okay it was uh, something between series and shunt motor in all the cases same thing happens so this is a uh, in case of speed versus armature current it is the constant line for shunt motor there will be a drop in speed as the load increases for cumulative motor this drop will be more whereas for a differential motor it will be voltage will increase so always cumulative will be between shunt and series characteristics so this is the speed versus torque characteristics so the points to remember here are i have compared all the three motors their um, characteristics and applications so shunt motor is characterized by constant speed almost constant speed and they have a medium starting torque and its application are lathe centrifugal pumps blowers fans machine tools in series motor always remember 
it has a high starting torque and it is used for variable speed application so wherever you have high starting torque like electric traction cranes hoist conveyors or in applications which will be loaded first and then start it operation the series motor can be used compound motor has a characteristics uh, between shunt and series motor so it also has a variable um, speed application and it has a high starting torque which will be slightly less than the series motor it can be used in elevators rolling mills conveyors and large presses if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you